what's up guys so we've made progress with the uh with the car um last night we got the uh passenger side manifold off here it is wasn't that fun sorry my bird just pulled up but tonight we're going to tackle the uh driver's side and if you can tell motor's still in the car so that manifold can come out without pulling the motor wasn't too fun it was two three four hours worth of work but heat shield's got to come off and then she slides out next i'm probably gonna go ahead and um work on getting that uh motor mount out so i can get the uh i ordered some 034 uh street track density mounts or whatever so those will be going in along with all the other craps going in the car so probably gonna do a little time lapse or something tonight of uh pulling this one out if it i don't even know if it can come out but i'm hoping it can with all this shit out of the way um yeah so that happened last night the heat shields actually i've got an idea for the heat shields i need to still make a tank bracket for uh the water mess system and i'm thinking i probably can use one of these because this is like decent it's not too uh not too thin not too thick or whatever so it should work pretty well for the mount it goes up here so let me get some more stuff done and you'll see an update what's up guys so here's the uh the update not the update that i was hoping to give you but the manifold on the uh driver's side did not come off got the coolant reservoir or the overflow expansion tank out the way but i have to buy the brace that apparently like braces from here to the other shunt tower or whatever and is able to hold the engine without having the cherry picker hold it or the engine hoist hold it for a long amount of time i don't think i trust that and it'd be right in the way so i need to go buy one of those for the uh just to get it where it's like there's no friggin' room down here so the update i am giving you though is pull the stock heat exchanger off in replacement is the I got all the brackets and crap on top, but the, uh, oh, not the 034, the, the Merc, um, the new design heat exchanger. So that's what it looks like with no heat exchanger. There's a bucket full of coolant. Um, I've already went ahead. I need to go buy hoses. I can't remember if he sent me some or not. So he probably did. I just can't find them, but I went ahead and put the coupler. I guess that's the opposite of a coupler. The coupler goes on the outside, but that's the new ones that he sent me to the stock um <clears throat> hose i'm pretty sure this hose is the top like the way this heat exchanger works is they're both on the bottom now the old design sorry that was shaky this one here was like cut out up here or it just it stopped here it didn't go all the way down so i think this one is the passenger side and this one is the driver's side i have to do some double checking but that should be going on sooner or later i have a crash bar at work right now I tried bedlining it with some cheap crap and it did not work, so I got it off. So, still thinking about powder coating it, but <clears throat> not quite sure. But a little bit more progress has been made. The header should be here Monday, so that's two days, three days from now. I don't know when you're going to be seeing this. Um, they should be here soon, though. I'm excited to go ahead and <clears throat> try to get the uh, passenger side in with the motor in, I wanna see if it's possible. I think it is, but I have to still buy O2 spacers and I still have to get the other, I still have the other cat in on the driver's side. I hadn't finagled that one out yet. So that one's gonna be a lot more fun. As you can see, no room on this side and like kind of some room on this side, still not much, but yeah. The heat exchanger was really easy to pull off. It's literally one torque screw and then some light clips. Wasn't even worth the really showing. I had it off in like two minutes. And I never, I didn't watch a video or anything. I just kind of tackled it. It wasn't rocket science. But, yeah. Making some progress. Not really. But more than when I came out here, I guess. Just taking stuff apart. What's up, so, guys? So, it has been a while since the last clip that you just saw. But... And a lot's happened. So that last clip was probably three or four weeks ago. Um, so these came in. 
So yeah, these are the uh, eBay Chinese specials. These were like 400 bucks, free shipping, but actually the welds look really good. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these a long time ago. Um, Yeah. The problem is I can't get them in. So last time you saw it, the this manifold was out still and it's still out. <clears throat> so it's go today is Monday night. It is going Friday afternoon to a shop to get the uh, 034 street track density mounts put in and the headers. That's all I'm paying them to do. He's going to drop the cradle or do whatever he wants to do with it. Just get them on. I don't care. And <clears throat> he's going to put motor mounts on, put everything back together the way he found it, and bring it back to me. And then the only thing that needs to be done is the coolant system. And then methanol eventually. Like, I'm not going to crack the car on methanol the first try. I'm going to go ahead and just make sure everything's running good. OT's have been out of it. Much of crap's been disconnected. Just want to make sure everything's good to go. So, also with that, that's going in the coolant system now. That I know you've seen this probably in a couple other videos, but I'm finally starting to mock it up on the actual crash bar. And the other one's off. I think I showed that in the last clip. But <clears throat> I'm going to put that on tonight. What I'm very proud of tonight, though, is it's probably not enough light. That is the tank for the methanol. I thought that looked pretty good. Um, it's hard mounted in there already. Ain't going nowhere. It's easy fill. It looks pretty factory. I mean, it's just a tiny little hole back there. Um, but the things, I've talked to Brett at Joker's about this upper pulley so you know he sent that's the box that's in right there he sent the upper pulley with all hold on turn this around upper pulley was sent with all the tools to install it some people didn't like that i've talked to brett he's fine with me keeping it until i can get it on i've explained the situation to him how it's broke and it's not getting fixed anytime soon well wasn't getting fixed anytime soon i'm out of breath but should be fixed Within a week and a half from this date. Um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and upload this video tomorrow. Just giving like a little update of everything that's happened. Because the methanol system is done. It's wired in. Only thing that has to be done is running the actual uh, stainless steel lines that the methanol runs through. But there's no point in me installing that yet until he's dropped the motor. Because then that's more crap for him to disconnect. Um... <clears throat> But once it's back from the shop, all it needs is the coolant system, burp and all that stuff, put the intake back on, reconnect the battery, crank it. I shouldn't need to reflash anything because the pulley stays in stock until I get around to doing that. I want to get it done fast though, but I kind of want to do it when I do the, the ported blower because I think it's going to be easier to do it um, with the snout i guess they call this a snout with that off this piece right yeah um because the tool that it came with it won't fit down in here i don't think i mean i can try it but i hadn't hadn't really screwed with it too much but it has taken me forever to cut that hole because i didn't want to cut it too big but before i go to sleep I'll try to get the crash bar back in with the uh bigger heat exchanger i bought some heater hose didn't buy enough, of course. So I gotta go back tomorrow and purchase some more. But you notice the car is back on the ground just because I've realized that it's literally not possible. Well, it's probably possible. I don't feel like pulling this whole front clip apart to pull the motor out to do it. I'd rather just pay someone. He's hooking me up and giving me a great deal. Um, yeah. So another thing I need to do is that is like the cabin air filter thing that sits back here, but it no longer will fit with the tank. So I have to go in and cut it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, hopefully it's it's back within a week and a half, two weeks tops. Once it's back, he should only take two or three days, four tops. And then once it's back here, depending on how school and work goes, should have back together within a week, like the cooling system. And that's literally the only thing I really took apart, a bunch of plastic crap, but yeah. Also, if you want to buy my tires, they're pretty much brand new. Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's 255 30 19. 
only reason I'm selling is I want to go to a 285, 35, 19, probably an Archip Ladar, just for some sticky. Um, yeah, another thing that's exciting to look forward to is once I do send the kit back to Brad at Jokers, they're doing product development right now for the new coolers for the 3OT supercharger. It's different than this. It's the coolers that sit in here. You can see them there. And they bolt in back here. But apparently they're making like better ones because those are prone to leak. Sorry, I wasn't on my face. Um, apparently if you send him the kit back at a good faith or whatever, he said something about it on Facebook, um, you get the coolers at cost, which is pretty cool. He's a cool guy. He was trying to help everybody out. Everybody was being a douchebag to him. Here we are. So hopefully everything's good. Reason I'm holding off on the the pulley though is there's a lot of other stuff that needs to go into it with the pulley. Not a whole lot of stuff. It's just it's gonna be a pain to install it with the blower on the car. The car will need plugs after that because you gotta get it plugs, gap of the plugs. Probably gonna do new coals while I'm at it. I mean they're cheap, but I'm very excited. Very very excited. It's almost been it's been over two months since the car's been broke. So I set it in the other night to put it in neutral. I had hooked the battery back up and put it in neutral to, to move it out the shop to get it kind of halfway cleaned up in here. And it was just, it was very exciting to sit in it. And it actually cut on because the ECU has been out of it like three times now. So that was, whew, that was good news. But probably going to end it off here. This has been a long video. Well, long time span for me is probably only going to be like 12 minutes for you. But thank you for watching. Go follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, very excited to show you what the car sounds like with the headers. I'm gonna keep the Magnaflow exhaust on with stock down pipes. It sounds like crap. I'm yanking that Magnaflow off and putting the stock exhaust back on, and it will be for sale. But as of right now, I'm just gonna keep it. And it could sound good, could sound like crap. There isn't many videos, or there's no videos. so hopefully that's cool. So, thank you for watching.